It's time to go over the proposal that we got from our graphic designer in terms of the packaging for Vape Case. Pink Pony Creative put this together for me. She's my go-to designer for the big heavy lifting stuff, the really important projects. So let's see what she's got. Welcome to Brick by Brick, a step-by-step -step YouTube series that documents the building of a company from start to finish. Hey, okay, there, yeah. She put together four options of packaging for us. So what we're looking for is something that's really easy to read, really easy to understand. It's attention grabbing, passes a drop test, and makes you want to look at it and learn more. And it has to describe what the product is. I don't like this font, I'm moving on. Option number two, vape case. This is good, but it looks like vape boace. Um, it doesn't look clear and it's not concise. We're gonna eliminate option two. Oh, option three is not bad. It's a little small, a little difficult to read. It's a little simple, but we can work on that. I like the font though. And then we have option four. Okay. I like the font and the style on option four most. It's a simple, modern design, smoky gradients. We can emboss it, deboss it. We can do all kinds of cool stuff with the packaging and give it like a real feel to it. So let's go with option four and let's articulate the following information to the designer. This is what being an entrepreneur is all about. It's about making quick decisions on things that are good enough now option four is good enough, so let's move forward with that. So what we wanna do is, first we want to make sure that we compliment the designer on whatever they're doing. We always start off with the compliment. Really like what you put together. My favorite is number four. Like, you're killing it, this looks great. I love the gradients, I love the typeface. It all looks really good. We want to include option four, but we need to make sure that the packaging describes what it is. So we're gonna go with this typeface, we're gonna go with this style of smoky gradient, but we need to include a few more things. We need to include the three different colors that this vape case is gonna come in. For example, in this box, you're gonna get a vape case for these particular type of vapes. And we're gonna have a, a like a gunmetal or like a smoky black color. We are going to have a glow in the dark color and we're also gonna have like a really bright color or like a tie dye slash camo, depending on what the molder can accomplish. So we need to make sure that the packaging has all three colors on the front and it describes exactly what the customer is gonna get. So I'm gonna go back to my designer. I'm gonna tell her that we like option four the most. We really like the vape case typeface. Here's what we need to add. We need to add points that tell the customer that they're not gonna lose their vape in bed anymore. We need to add on points that are gonna tell the customer why we created this vape case. Uh, it has a nice tactile feel, so they know exactly what they're gonna get. We need to make sure they know that it's not gonna slip out of their pocket, and it's an accessory that they can put on that is going to improve their life and solve a problem. The problem being that everybody loses their vapes. They just do, they lose them in their purse, their pockets, their fanny packs, their backpacks, in their bed, their car, they just slip out everywhere. And so we need to make sure the customer knows that. So I'm gonna get back with Christy on Slack, I'm gonna tell her all of these changes, and we're gonna wait for version two of the packaging PDF and continue to refine from there. But that's as fast as you need to go like just get a decision made reply that's what makes speed to market that's what makes a good effective business owner in my mind is quick decisions anyways that's it i'm going to articulate that stuff to christy and we'll see what she comes up with on the next one all right so we got the second vape case packaging proposal back from christy so let's talk about what she's changed and what we're looking at now Last time I spoke to her, I told her what we liked, I told her what we wanted to move forward with, and I also gave her some other options in case. So let's take a look. Oh, this is much better than before. I really like the smoky aspect. Option one is great, look at that. It's clearly three different colors. It's clearly a vape case. Um, let's zoom in here. Non-slip silicone case for your vape. I love that. That looks really good. Look at this, here's the dye line. She put some extra things on here, like it won't lose it in bed, it's not gonna slip out of your pocket. I really like the logos, I really like what she did up here. This is starting to look really good, I'm glad I trusted her on this. Okay, let's look at the other designs. Boom, okay, we have option two, where the vapes are kind of sideways, but it kind of distorts the shape of it a little bit and makes it look interesting. Maybe not two, but I really like number one so far. Okay, number three, little brighter colors. Definitely catches my eye a little bit more, definitely more unique and eye-catching, definitely. Especially in this space, I think that we would want bright colors. So I like option three the most now. Let's go back to one. Here's one, here's three. 
So basically the same version, but different colors. I think if we change the smoke and do like a debossed glossy smoke texture, like we can absolutely make this look like super sick, super sick. And then we have the last one, the vape case, the more gamified, the more um, punchy, new school style. Um, this isn't bad. Uh, I kind of like it. I like the stars. I like the extra touches, but I'd have to say that this one is the one we're going to go with um, first and foremost. So we'll stick with this design. I'll tell Christy we like option three and that we are going to plan on making the smoke nice and um, smooth by debossing the packaging. And then we'll make this outer part kind of rough and have like a, a rough kind of smoky, chunky, papery feel to it, a texture for sure. And then we'll be able to print all this stuff on the outside of the box too. And that's it. I think we're really close. We just need to change up a few colors and move forward from here and continue to refine. And then uh, once we get the packaging finalized, we're gonna get a prototype made from my printer over in China, who's really good at this stuff and very affordable. And he's gonna send that over and we'll be able to touch it, feel it, and make sure that it's something we wanna move forward with. Awesome work so far, super excited. This is as much time as we needed to spend on packaging. Mm -hmm.